Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flurn.com where we make learning fun. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a texture brush in Photoshop. So we're starting off with this sample image. It's a beautiful textured background of ice and we're going to make this into a brush. By the way, you can download this as well as the PSD on flurn.com for free. If you want to follow along, just follow the link right down below. So we're going to start off with hitting Control or Command L right here on our background layer. And I'm going to make my light areas a little bit lighter and we're going to make our dark areas a little bit darker. What I'm looking for is a good amount of contrast between light and dark to make our Photoshop brush. That looks really, really good. Now, the next thing I want to do is desaturate my image. So we're going to go to Image over here to Adjustments and then down to Desaturate. We don't need any color at all. When you were creating your Photoshop brush, you want to make sure that the brush is black and the background is white. So right now it's actually the opposite of what I want because I want to make these little streaks. That's what I want to turn into the brush. So what I'm going to do is just click on my background layer and hit Control or Command I to invert it. And there we go. So you can see what is white is just going to be the background and the black areas are going to be the brush itself. Let's go ahead and use our levels. I'm going to hit Control or Command L one more time and we're just going to make our lights even lighter. Really, we don't want much of the background showing up at all. There we go. We want to increase our contrast to something like that. That looks fantastic. Now, the next step along our journey is to make sure that all of our textures complete themselves before the very edge of the document. If you don't do this, it's going to look like you'll have a visible square around your brush and it won't look that realistic. So in this case, all I have to do is use my brush tool. So B for the brush tool. And I'm going to simply paint white right here over top of some of the textures at the very end. I just want to make sure that they don't go all the way to the edge of my canvas. I'm going to use a nice soft brush and we're just going to terminate these in a way that looks relatively realistic. There we go. We can just get rid of all of that there. Fantastic. It's mostly the stuff around the corners that you want to take care of. Now, obviously, every texture is going to be different. Every photo is going to be different. So all these techniques can be used to create custom brushes. But depending on how you use them, your custom brushes might going to be a little bit different from mine. By the way, you can also download this textured brush that we're making in this episode for free on flurn.com as well. Just follow the link right down below. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and just make our image a little bit smaller because it's a large image. And when we're making Photoshop brushes, you want your maximum width around 1500 pixels. So let's go to, to image and then we're going to go to image size. There we go. And I'm going to put my width at 1500 pixels and hit OK. Fantastic. So this is what our brush is going to look like. Now, all we have to do is just turn this into a custom brush. We're going to go up to edit and then down to define brush preset. Let's go ahead and click there. And we're just going to call this texture 01 and hit enter. All right. And as you can see, I actually have a little preview of my brush. Let's go ahead and switch our images. Now we're just going to go to our sample image. Let's hit F for full screen. I'm going to hit B for my brush tool. I'm going to right click and you'll see all the way here in the bottom texture 01 is my brush. So if I go ahead and just create a new layer, I'm going to just grab a red color here so you can see what this brush looks like at this point. If I start painting around, this is what the brush looks like. Honestly, it's OK, but we can do a lot better. So what we're going to do is go to Window and down to Brush Settings. Now, here's where the magic comes alive. We can do things like rotate this brush, change the size of it and add all types of different things that are going to make the effect look a lot more realistic. So we're going to go up here to where it says Shape Dynamics. Let's go ahead and turn that on and I'm going to turn my size jitter all the way up. This is going to make some of these larger and some of them smaller. We're going to go ahead and turn our angle jitter all the way up as well. That's just going to rotate it. I'm going to turn on scattering. So let's check that box there. I'm going to hit both axis for my scattering and go ahead and bring that up there as well. And here you're starting to see a preview of what our brush is going to look like. So now if I paint with my brush tool, check this out. We have this really interesting pattern. It kind of just fills all over top of this image. Now, here's a cool little tip. If you want it to be less dense, as you can see right now, it's quite dense. If you want it to be less dense, go to your brush tip shape and then increase your spacing. And then it's going to be a little bit less dense. I think this looks great. So now that we've brought in all of those settings, I'm going to go ahead and save this brush. By the way, you can download this as well. It's part of the download package on flurn.com for free. 
So to save this brush out, all I have to do is click here on my little icon. We're gonna go to new brush preset and we'll just call this Flurn Texture Brush. Fantastic. And that includes all of these settings that I just made, including the shape dynamics and our scattering. So now what do we do with these texture brushes? Well, in my opinion, a really great use for these is just to simply add a little bit of contrast to your image. So we're gonna make a couple curves adjustment layers to make our image lighter and darker. Let's go ahead and grab our adjustment layers. We're gonna go to curves right here. There we go. And to start off with, I'm gonna make a curves adjustment, click and drag up. That's gonna make my image a little bit brighter. Now on my layer mask, I'm gonna hit Control or Command I to invert that. Okay, so I have my curves adjustment layer. My layer mask is black, meaning it's not visible everywhere. But once I use my brush and paint white on my layer mask, we can see this is the effect that we now have. Okay, this interesting texture that we just made from that other image is now peering over top of our image. Look at this. I can turn this off and on at any time, and I can even double click right here on my curves adjustment layer and increase or decrease the strength of that. All right, that's looking really, really good. Don't forget, this is just a regular brush. So if I hold Alt or Option and take a look at my layer mask, I can paint white on the layer mask, which is gonna make it visible, or I can simply hit X on my keyboard and paint black on my layer mask, and this is gonna make it invisible. So you can use these brushes both for visibility and invisibility. There we go to get really, really interesting effects. So there we have making just a little bit of a lighter texture on our image. Let's go ahead and do another one here. We're gonna create another curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna make this darker now, okay? We're gonna invert our layer mask by hitting Control or Command I. And now we're just going to go ahead and paint this and see how it looks with a little bit of a darker effect. I find adding like the light effects and the dark effects together really tend to look good. So that's a little bit too much effect. We're just gonna double click here and we're gonna make it not so dark. Nice and subtle I think is the way to go with these textures. Just keep them really nice and subtle. There we go with these curves adjustment layers. I love this because you can adjust it at any time if you wanna go super strong or nice and subtle, it's very, very easy to do. There we go. And as you can see, it creates this really beautiful textured effect right here. I did less of an effect over my subject's face and more of an effect right down here on this part of the image and on this part of the image as well. Generally, I like to keep the texture away from the subject's face, but it's got a cool effect that you can see applies in just a couple of seconds. Don't forget this brush is available for download. If you wanna install it, simply go to window and then down to brushes and click right here on your little menu within your brushes window and go down to where it says import brushes. Then all you have to do is click here on flernteksturebrush.abr that's included in your download. Go ahead and hit open and you're gonna see it'll put it right here on the very bottom. You've got your flern texture brush and you're good to go. Thanks again for watching. If you wanna get more free tutorials from us every single week, click on that subscribe button. We'll send them right to your YouTube inbox. Thanks again, I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.